course, like, you know, uh, I wouldn't be averse to interviewing MC Ride or, um, you know, or saying hi to him. So which brings me to the show that my girlfriend and I went to. It was our last day of South by Southwest. There wasn't really anything happening that day musically that we wanted to, that we really wanted to see other than Death Grip. So we went down to the venue where the show was playing. And, you know, the way that it works over there is during the day, venues usually have kind of one person or one group of people or one sponsor that's running the show or running the concert from like, you know, the morning to like five o'clock or six o'clock. And then after that, somebody else kind of comes in and takes over and does the night show that happens from six o'clock to like, you know, whenever. Um, and uh, so we went down to the venue early and, you know, we caught a few good artists, including like Big Frida, who put on a really hilariously funny show, um, you know, just like a really high energy booty shaken extravaganza. After that, the venues kind of switched hands and we, uh, we went over to a uh, go get in line, you know, left the venue to get back in line because, you know, they kick people out of the venue yeah. because they don't want people in there while they're switching things over and setting things up. So we went back around to get in line. And so we were standing in the front of the line. Um, and, uh, you know, we're just like, and, and we were standing there for hours, just like, you know, waiting for the venue to switch over because we wanted to be right up front and center for death grips. Yeah. And, uh, which we, we did end up getting, you know, it was like, it was, it was, the, the longest line my girlfriend and I had ever stood in to see anything. And, um, you know, believe it or not, like as, as much as I've enjoyed Death Grips over the past few years, you know, my girlfriend's been hearing a lot of it too in the apartment and she enjoys it almost as much as I do. Yeah. So we're standing in line and, and my girlfriend nudges me. She's like, hey, 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 over there. And like, you know, Zach Hill and MC Ride are just like walking by. Uh, they were just looking forward and not really paying attention to anything around them. And, MC Ride was looking like ultra pissed and just like, oh, you know, shit. ultra unhappy with the world. And then uh, I think that, that they had just like stepped two steps past me. And then I just went, yo, Stefan. And, uh, you know, and then he turned around and then I just like, you know, and then I stuck my hand out to shake his hand. And then he went from like, to like, you know, and then he like Whoa. shook my hand and he's like, hey, man. He, he said, hey, man, thanks for all the support. Whoa. And then I said, no problem, dude. I'm looking forward to the show. Good luck. And then he just like, you know, kept walking. I, on, honestly, like I, if, if I had, if I had to make a pizza out of the money store, it would definitely not be a vegetarian pizza. <laughs> there, sure. be, it would probably be like a special tomato sauce where at some point in the making of the tomato sauce, there was like blood like, <laughs> in there, like, like human blood, <laughs> Pink's blood, I don't know, but there'd be like some kind of blood just thrown into the tomato sauce.